What's up guys, welcome to Visualization. This is Nestor Adrian Sen, and today we will learn about how to create a geographic heat map in Excel 2016. Hey, if this is the first time that you stop by my channel, please be sure to hit the subscribe button so you won't miss anything. All right guys, no more talking and let's get started. So the first thing I wanna do here is to show you guys the final product. So let's go to the final tab real quick. So here we have COVID-19 statistics as of May 29th, 2020. And we will be creating two heat maps, one for the United States, as you guys can see right here, and the other one is gonna be for the whole world. So the information that you guys see right here is based on total cases. For example, for the first table, so this is just for the United States and we have right here the top 20 states that have the highest total cases as of May 29th, 2020. And then for the second table, and here we have the top 20 countries that have the highest total cases as of May 29th, 2020. Okay, so here we have this beautiful chart and this data source comes from, here it is, it comes from worldometers.info. So now let's do it guys. All right, so the first thing that we wanna do here is to go to get add-ins and add the geographic heat map, okay? So let's do that. First thing, let's make sure that we have selected insert here. Let's hit this option, get add-ins. So, and right here, we're gonna type heat map, okay? Let's hit enter. It's right there. So if you haven't downloaded this app, so this is the time, please add this app to Excel. Let's hit the option add right here. I'm not gonna do that because I already downloaded this app, okay? I'm gonna close this window. And then, so the second step right here is insert the geographic heat map. So after you download this app, the geographic heat map should be part of this option right here, my add-ins, okay? So I'm gonna hit this error right here, okay? So there you guys have it. This is geographic heat map. Let's hit that option, boom. All right, so let's move this to the right so we can visualize this data better. So now the party just started, my friends, okay? So let's hit get started right here. And then first thing we wanna do here is choose map. We have two options. In our case, this data is just for the United States, so we're gonna select USA. So for the next table, we need to select world because that's for the whole world, right? Okay, so USA right here, and then let's choose our data. So here we have this option to select this data, okay? So we need to select this whole table. So we're gonna do that right there. What is really, really important here is that we need to select headers as well. Okay, so let's do that and then hit okay, boom. So as you guys can see right here, so these columns have been populated right here. So for regions automatically state has been selected, right? So there it is, state, that's what we need. For values, here we have a few more options, right? So in our case, we wanna select total tests, okay? So let's do that. And now we need to select color theme. So here we have a few options as well, but we want to select custom, okay? So here we have a few more options for background. Let's select light blue, okay? This is just for the example, okay? All right, so let's click right here. And then for minimum value, I wanna select yellow okay let's hit right here again and then for the midpoint value color i want to select light pink so this color right here let's hit outside of this 
window as well boom and then for max value color i want to select dark red right there click outside again boom for title we can type covid covid 19 total tests this is just for the united states right okay so for labels here so let's select this option as well and then for legend we have right here two options button and right so we want to select button right here and then let's save those changes boom there you guys have it okay all right so now let's go to the next table here we have the top 20 countries that have the highest total cases around the world, right? So let's create a beautiful geographic heat map here as well, okay? So let's do that. Same thing here. Select geographic heat map. Let's move this to the right so we can visualize this data better. And then let's hit get started, okay? In this case, we need to select world let's select data here so let's make sure that we include headers here that's very important guys please don't forget that and then right here let's select this data the whole data right here and then let's hit okay okay so for regions that's correct we care about country and then for values we need to select total cases right here okay for color theme, we wanna select custom here as well. And in this case, let's see what we wanna have here, okay? So we wanna have as a background gray, so we are good. And then for the minimum value color, let's select orange, okay? Let's do that. Orange right here. Let's get outside of this box right here boom and then for midpoint value color we can select light pink as well let's hit outside of this box again and then for max value color here we want to select dark red as well okay let's hit outside of this box again and then for title so let's name this chart as COVID-19 total tests worldwide. Okay, so now we don't want to see labels here, but let's select legend as bottom. Okay, and then right here we hit save. Boom. So what's happening here? So here we see, right, the top 20 countries that have the highest total tests around the world. But what's happening here with the United States? Why can we see the United States here? Because we have right here that it's leading the race, right? We have more total cases in the United States now. So this is something very important, guys. Here I name it as USA, but we wanna call it United States instead. Okay, so after we do that, let's update this right here. Let's save the changes right here, just to make sure that everything works fine. Boom, see? So now we can see that dark red belongs to the United States. So because we have more cases here, so this color is dark red, okay? So as you guys can see here, we can keep playing with this uh, chart, okay? So we can zoom in, zoom out if we want. See right here? So we can move around, we can check what's going on on a different country here. So we wanna add labels if we want, so you can, Keep editing if you want, right? So let's add labels real quick. See, 
that's how it works, but we don't want to do that. It looks messy, right? So let's not add labels and then save these changes. But you get the idea, right? So we can have these beautiful charts by using just Excel, okay? So here, as I mentioned before, we can zoom in, zoom out if we want, and then we can start visualizing different states, right? So in this case, this is New York. Small one right here is New York as well. So here we have more information, New Jersey. All right, so finally, let's say that you guys wanna use these charts for a presentation. So we can copy these charts, okay? So let's select this chart right here, Control C, then let's go to this presentation. Right here, Control V, boom, there you have it, okay? So if you wanna add the other chart, so let's go back to Excel again, right here, Control C, so the same strategy here, okay? Perfect. You can make this chart even bigger if you want, right? So now let's say that you wanna save this visualization as picture, okay? So select this visualization right here and then right click, save as picture, okay? And then right here, you can save this picture, right? So I already save it. So basically you paste this again and boom, there you have it. So that's how it works, guys. Let's go back to Excel and let's see what else we have. So there you guys have it. So we can use this type of visualization, the geographic heat map to visualize our data right so and this is very helpful we don't have to have really really crazy powerful skills to create these visualizations right so this is quite straightforward and i hope you guys found this very helpful if so please give me a thumbs up share with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss anything thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial